Today we're going to take a quick look at the uh, While on Earth Move Trainers. It, it's been a while since I've done even a review, but I'm pretty stoked because I feel like I'm trying to get back into the flow of creating content, uploading stuff on YouTube, and doing the damn thing. So today we're in the outdoor gym, uh, which I've also never had before uh, until I started making content more recently. So I think this is a great place to start, but yeah, we're going to check these out. I just got these literally today. Um, and so we're just going to walk through unboxing. So you guys know what to expect when you pick up these shoes. Um, for right off of the bat, these were $150. Um, I was on the fence of whether or not I wanted to buy these shoes because originally I was thinking about getting the um, OG band Metcon ones that came out and they've been out for a while and they were on discount, but I already have Metcon ones. So in my mind, I was thinking, Hey, probably doesn't make much sense to buy the same shoe over again when I already have this shoe or Metcon ones. Uh, and I wanted something different. Um, I wanted to try something different, uh, because I haven't really, um, I, I feel like I haven't really bought a, a, a shoe that's been vastly, um, different than the shoes I've already had. I have had the, the rads. I've, I've actually purchased a few different pairs of the rads. Um, I have the runners and the R ones in two different colorways. And, um, I probably should have done a review on that, but I didn't. Um, but I kind of just got to this place of, I want something vastly different and, you know, granted these have been teased for quite some time and they finally came out. And so last month, and so in my mind, I'm like, Hey, you know what? Let me just go with these. Uh, I didn't get them through the pre-order. Um, I figured that there would be a time where they would release and they would just be available. So I kind of just waited until uh, after the pre-order and when I bought them, they shipped. So I bought them last week um, and uh, last Friday, I think it was. And then I got them on uh, Wednesday today, which is Wednesday. So we're going to open these bad boys up right off of the bat. The thing that is going to be a knock for these right off of the back is that they came in a bag. I don't understand what the rationale is outside of maybe trying to save a few bucks. I think if we're talking about um, protecting somebody's investment that they put money into, if I'm a business, I think it's a really good idea to just give somebody a quality experience and sipping somebody's shoes in a bag is pretty trash to be quite honest. So woes, that's a, that's a minus one for you guys on that. We're going to open these up. Um, I do like the idea right off of the back. It has this little card, which is cool. But again, if I'm shipping this in a bag, there's probably a likelihood that this is going to get bent in shipping. I'm lucky that nothing happened in shipping, but it would have been cool if it was in like a box and maybe it had a custom box like rad. For example, you buy a rad shoe. Not only do you get the rad shoe box, but the box for the shipment is also customized for rad. And it's a really cool experience. So I think, again, they could probably do a better job of how this is packaged, but you get this little card that in introduces you to the brand. It has a little foot, uh, footprint on the front. Uh, that is my order details. Um, and then we got the shoe box, which, you know, again, I'm surprised that it came in some, you know, a decent box. Um, I also like to keep my boxes. Uh, so that's the other thing too, is that like, I like to have my boxes in good condition just because I store them, um, in the boxes and it makes it easier to stack. If they're all broken and stuff, I can't do that. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised this came in a uh, decent, uh, shape for being in a shipping bag. So I guess for all that it is, you know, that's good. There's also no tape on it either. So like, granted this thing could have been tossed around if the bag opened the box opened the shoes could have spilled out could have been damaged again i'm spending 150 dollars on this don't give me a peasant shipping experience um so we're going to open these up we got the little while on earth um little imprint on there you got that on the front um we also got it on the side i guess apparently these are also um I guess carbon neutral, not necessarily carbon neutral. I should know this because this is what I'm majored in, but environmentally friendly. Um, so some money, I guess, is given back to, um, you know, organizations that help to um, conserve uh, resources on the planet. I got these in the white mist colorway in 10 and a half. Uh, these are, or 10 actually, 
11 and a half women's. But that's the box, nothing too crazy. It also would have been cool if they gave stickers. Uh, I'm a huge sticker person, especially on water bottles and stuff like that. You got the custom uh, paper on the box too. That's nice, it's a nice little touch there. Um, and yeah, these are the trainers in white mist. I don't typically buy white trainers, but I wanted something a little bit different um, it, and something that would kind of give like off of like a little bit more of like a fresh kind of feel to it. Um, a little bit more of like a mature kind of feel to it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I really like to be quite honest off of like first look, I really like the look of these. Um, they look great. The upper on these looks really, really nice. Um, they've got on the, I think it's medial side, I guess you could say. Um, they got some like abrasion technology. I don't know how well this will hold up over time to be quite honest, but it seems pretty nice. Um, it actually has, I think the mist is like blue. Uh, so it's not actually like full on white on white on white. You have some of that like hint of blue on the uh, heel tab here, uh, as well as on the front like full tab. To be quite honest, I get very, the, the vibes that I get from this are like a more of a, um, like a boot camp hit style, like almost as if like a Nano Flux and a Metcon like seven, eight or nine had a baby. Um, you don't get that like, um, hi, what is it? The Hyperflex uh, or whatever the um, uh, heel is on like the Metcon 9, but you kind of get that like overall similar structure, which I kind of like, um, but it's a little bit more of a very like versatile shoe, uh, to be quite honest. It seems like you can kind of use it for a little bit of everything. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this. I think just like based off of what I spent, $150, this is a very good looking shoe. Um, everything about it is just really, really nice. It looks nice. Again, the upper feels very, very nice. Um, I quite honestly would have preferred round laces as opposed to these flat laces. I'm not a huge flat lace person just because I don't like the way that they like fall on the shoe um, when you tie them or when you keep retying them. But again, overall, I think this is a nice looking, well handcrafted shoe. It almost feels like something you would get from like maybe like Lululemon or something like that. You don't get that like hard, aggressive CrossFit kind of feel to it which is maybe the look that they're going for is just more of a versatile like you like you could use this for anything and so like the the immediate sort of idea that i get is just like a mix between again like a nike metcon 7 8 or 9 and a nano flex which i like the nano flex i think it's a very great shoe it's not the greatest for things like rope climbs and things of that nature i think that the nano flex does also have some like rope climb protection quote unquote on it but it's not great and so I'm kind of maybe expecting the same kind of feel with this shoe as well. But again, overall, I like the feel to the shoe. Um, it feels like a luxury shoe. I feel like in terms of what I'm paying for, looks wise, it looks like that's what I'm getting. I like the heel um, uh, cup kind of like feel to it. The cushion around the ankles looks really nice. It looks really plush. Um, the, uh, heel tab also feels pretty strong as well. Um, it seems like if you're going to be doing things like, um, handstand pushups or whatever, this isn't like rubber. It's like more of like a hard TPU plastic. So you're going to be able to get that slide on it, which is nice. Um, and yeah, guys, like this is, this is it. This is the shoe. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm going to do like another video based off of like my experience in actually training the shoe in the shoe, um, which will be more of like a wear test. But if you guys are looking for something that at least looks nice, maybe you want something that, you know, you can use maybe from what I hear more on like body weight type movements and maybe even some heavier work. Um, I think this is a great looking shoe. I mean, even if I didn't work out on this, I'm going to wear this around town. And, and that's what I'm also kind of like stoked about is on this as well Is like it feels like more of a versatile shoe than any other um, CrossFit shoe, I guess you could say, I've seen. I mean, Nanos aren't really shoes that I would really wear around, but like this is maybe a shoe that I would wear on like a like, Sunday. Maybe I want to hit a workout on that Sunday and I could wear this in that too, but I can also kind of like have an athleisure fit in my Lulus with this. And so, yeah, I think this is a good shoe overall. 
I mean, packaging, I would say I would give them uh, two out of five. I think it could have been better. I would have loved to have seen a, a shipping box and not a shipping bag. Maybe some stickers in there as well. Um, overall design of the shoe, I give this a four out of five. I think this is a great looking shoe. Um, I mean, I think actually testing it may modify that decision. So that's why I'm kind of giving it initial four out of five um, on this. And then price wise too, it's for 150, maybe you could argue and say it's a little bit more than I would like to spend or you would like to spend on this, but I think it's still a fair price for a CrossFit shoe in this day, day and age. You know, again, if you're gonna be buying a Metcon or a Nano, you're probably gonna be spending around the same price or maybe like the, um, uh, tier CTX series or CXT series, whatever, um, you're going to be paying more. So I think this maybe fits in that realm of like, this is a CrossFit shoe. You can also, you know, look good and feel good in this shoe, a very athleisure like shoe. So I think they hit the nail on the head with these wild and earth shoes, just looks alone. I love them. Even the other colorways, like there's the Seafoam or Seaport, as well as like the maroon red colorway. You got that gum bottom to it. They all look great to me. Um, and so that's kind of just like initial first impressions, first look on these guys. Um, again, I'll leave the links down below. You guys should already know where to grab these shoes. If you guys are in the CrossFit space, you guys already know who's promoting these shoes. So I'm not really going to dive too deep on that, but I think this is more so again, a very comfortable shoe that I'm looking forward to, to training in. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will upload the wear test in the next video for you guys. And leave some comments down below with any additional questions that you guys might have on the while on earth sneaker. As always, guys, as may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.